Here's an update from a previous video. Right now at 5.30 and only on 10, charges have been dropped against this guy who was recorded by his own dash cam opening fire on another driver on I-95. The defendant has maintained he thought he was being shot at and that's why he grabbed his gun. Today that stand your ground defense led to all charges being dismissed. Local tennis Janine Stanwood is live with that one and only exclusive Janine. Florida Highway Patrol says the other driver had actually thrown a water bottle toward Eric Popper, but you said it. He has maintained the whole time that that was gunfire, and now the charges against him have been dropped. This chilling video made national headlines. The man firing out the window, Eric Popper, faced charges including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm very relieved. Uh, I believe that justice was served. But now he's speaking to us as prosecutors dismiss those charges. It's been a long process. It's been almost two years. It happened in June of 2021. According to Florida Highway Patrol, Popper was behind the wheel of this black Toyota Venza when he cuts off another driver. That driver starts tailgating. Popper slams the brakes. Troopers say the other driver then hurls a water bottle. Popper maintains it was gunfire. I've watched the video many times. Uh, did not see a water bottle. I think under the stand your ground law, Mr. Popper was perfectly reasonable and justified in his actions. There was no question when you look and listen to the facts of the case, Mr. Popper was shot at. We asked Popper if he had any regrets. Hindsight's 2020. There's always things that we can look back and say we wish we'd have done differently. Definitely what I would have done would be not to pump my brakes. Uh, I would have taken another tactic or, you know, definitely tried to de-escalate a little better. Popper says he wouldn't have changed what happened next. Opening fire, he says he was in fear for his life. Now he says he's looking forward to moving on. We're in Northwest Miami-Dade. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.